hydroponic giant pumpkin. The last time you guys seen this thing was almost a month ago and I think I was just going on holidays there. Uh, there was about a softball size pumpkin on this plant. There's about three others when I left that I kept on there. Just in case the one didn't seem to grow I would have some options. And uh, when I came back uh, my two other options were gone but luckily that softball sized pumpkin had grown just a little bit. It's interesting because the leaves behind me tell a little bit of a story of how this pumpkin was doing uh, with the nutrients it's been taking up. You'll notice that uh, when things started off with this pumpkin things were nice and green and then I left for work there and it slowly ate up all the nutrients that were in the reservoir and you can tell if you look at the leaves from that point they're really yellow and then when I came back from work I refilled the reservoir with nutrients and things started to get green again so I just found that interesting and it really does show how important it is that uh, you're using the right kind of nutrients when you're growing this plant unfortunately when I came back the auto top off valve had failed and the main reservoir was bone dry the roots had turned brown and it was not looking good I was able to fix that just by jiggling the float a little bit and it started to fill up again and I was a little worried whether or not the roots would be able to take up the nutrients they were just looking like I said brown and pretty dead fortunately once it filled up uh, the roots were drinking water and it continues to drink a healthy amount of about three gallons of water per day I'm continuing to bury the vine as it grows out uh, as well because it's September getting close to the end of the growing season I've cut all the vines the ends of them to prevent them from growing out I want to uh, concentrate on getting that all the energy of the plant to that pumpkin I've also been feeding the plant a liquid foliar spray with a liquid seaweed extract and I'm using a sprayer to apply that to the plant hoping that it's able to get a few more nutrients through the leaves that way I've added a tarp over the pumpkin to keep the sun off it during the day. We've been having a real hot September here, so that's good for this plant because it needs a bit more growing time before I think it's ready. Let's take a look and see how this thing is doing. So as you can see, it's growing pretty good. This thing's growing a lot every week and I hope there's a few more weeks left in it to grow some more. I'd really like to see how big we can get this thing going. By no means is this a monster or even a giant pumpkin. I don't think I'd call it that. It's big, but it's not a giant. I still think it's really cool that it's gone this far in a hydroponic system. Who knows, we might get lucky and this thing just might break 100 pounds, but I'll keep you guys posted on the progress of this thing as always. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.